I, uh, I mentioned, you know, in the beginning about um, John Paul's uh, work on crossing the threshold of hope in which he falls back upon Paul VI um, in terms of us being an evangelizing church and that we as a church exist to evangelize. And I think we need to, that's where we need to focus our attention. And we need to have a structure in place in the diocese that allows that to blossom and to flourish, not just to be adequately addressed, but that as we look to the forward, it's something that, that is within our ability to do. And I think that's what we really, that's what we're trying to strive for. Um, in, my, in my document, I, I, I have this uh, expression that we as a diocese, I believe, are at our own threshold of faith life. Uh, could there be any greater time for a new evangelization or a re-evangelization within the Diocese of Saginaw. And if the time is now, how will we answer this call to be ministers of the new evangelization? What must we do to position our diocese, parishes, schools, priests, deacons, religious, lay ministers, indeed the entire faithful, to be a vital and vibrant presence and agent for this new evangelization? In the broadest of, of, of expressions, I believe that that's what, that's what we're about. And hopefully, uh, this process that we engage in, in this year, which is going to be very difficult, I realize that. Uh, I have no doubts about that. But that it will bring us uh, to some, um, some agreements in terms of how we will best be able to do that. Uh, I uh, mentioned this morning, I said that, you know, I'm, a, I'm an emotional Italian. You've seen, <laughs> you've seen me lose it a couple of times. I, I'm kind of one of these guys that gets emotional sometimes when I'm watching a movie. I, um, I am absolutely certain that I will shed some tears um, during and at the end of this process. In the last two years, I've had the privilege of visiting uh, the parishes, uh, the schools around the diocese. The love of our people... Uh, for their church, for their communities, for the things that they have toiled so hard for is, is admirable and it's uh, effective in, in a sense that it, it has affected me, affected me. And uh, so I know that there may be some decisions that are not going to be easy and they will be very painful for some of our brothers and sisters and um, that will not be lost on me. I want you to know that. But we have to make decisions. We, if we do not map out our future, our future will map it itself out for us. And instead of leading, we will be drug. Uh, drug into some unknown decision of, of, of ministry for our people. Our people deserve our best. And our people deserve what we are capable of doing. Not what we used to do, not what we would like to do. Our people are, deserve what we are capable of doing in bringing the good news of Jesus Christ, the Paschal mystery, into their hearts and minds and into their lives. They deserve that, and that's what we need to do. And uh, it will be emotional time for, for all of us. If it's not, we're not engaging this process appropriately. Um, I, will, I cannot pledge to be as open as possible uh, to the creative suggestions and recommendations that you make. I do understand, though, that there will come a time when, when all the best efforts of the people from the parishes and the areas of our diocese will come forward to a committee and to myself, and somebody has to decide. Somebody has to decide where we will go in the future. I don't, I don't relish being in this position, but I assure you, because I know it's the will of the Lord, that we will, we will... Uh, mark a plan for this diocese, and, uh, and one that will, that will be blessed for our people and will do the work of evangelization in their midst. I am convinced of that. And uh, if I could, I just want to end with this, um, with this phrase, that sentence or paragraph that was in my um, homily at my installation mass. And if I can just end with this, it will be in my, um, I'm concluding my, my pastoral letter with it, but you may recall these words, and so, my dear friends of Saginaw, here we go. 
Here we begin together a new chapter in the life of this wonderful diocese, nourished by the Eucharist and through the intercession of our patroness Mary of the Assumption. May we be faithful servants of the Master and have the courage and faith to do whatever he tells us. God love you and enjoy your dinner, everyone. God bless you.